Hey guys, welcome back. So we figured out that Connor, <laughs> Connor made a deal with the demon to make sure his father would get better. So in, in demon logic, keeps dad alive, but ransacks entire castle and village. This is probably why he should have gone to a circle in the first place. Now, I'm not like a super fan of circles and the sort of, I'm super afraid like the sorts of like oh, is that ship they impose on them oh, you like they're being treated as some people oh man this is way more than I thought these good ones but it would have probably been nice for him to have learned about controlling himself So I know Alistair needs to level. And so I shall. Um, give me one second to level him. Okay, so I gave him some points in um, basically con to make him a better tank. Allow me. I could do that for you. My dear, every time I get you to try this, you can't do it. No. I don't want to dance that dance. No thanks. <sighs> See, at least it would let me know. I <laughs> always check where the dogs are. <laughs> Never turn down some health potions. Oh, I kind of want to go to this room first. I'm kind of like considering and so saving I shall. the game. Stone Dragon statue. Um, and like going and confronting Connor, and then seeing the difference of when I don't. Well, all right. I don't know how much time that would waste. As you desire. Gotta be that touchy feely kid. Okay, yes. is this a bath? Cool. I really want to. And then to like have shit happen and then go back to the save. Oh wait, that was... Which way was it? Was it this way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of the paintings. Okay, I'm gonna. Because this is my playthrough. And I want to see what happens. So I'm gonna save. Um... Now we know if we like, fuck up, we can just come back to the save. Can I just kill it? There's all of those baddies on the ground. Can I go around? <laughs> oh, it did it for me. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> this must be his room. Don't go near 
him. She'll get angry. She'll get... Fire Liliana. Mercy on him, he's just a boy. He doesn't deserve this. Do you have another solution? There must be another option. The Circle must know some spell, or we could bring him to the cathedral and dinner him. They, they could exorcise him. An exorcism will not help him, my lady. Make her help me. There must be some other way! Don't kill my baby! I'm begging you! I, I, I never wanted to kill him in the first place. I just wanted to see where it was to go. So I'm not gonna like strong arm her. Because our, our whole thing in the first place was to go get the Circle of Magi. Um, um, very well, we'll use another option. Thank you. Thank you. You won't regret this. Connor? Connor, can you hear me? It's mother. M mother. I, I... It hurts so bad. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> it's all right, darling. I'll find a way to stop the demon. Can you stand up? Fool woman! If I crushed father's throat, would you watch? Would you cry? You are pathetic. No, don't. Don't talk like that. Connor, come back. Please, don't go. I'm sorry I called her mother. It hurts. Make it stop. I... I will, baby. I will. I'll... Make the pain stop. Please. Leave me alone with him. You were right. He can't be helped.
I may have gotten in over my head. <laughs> so, um, I would still prefer to go get the mages. God, but it's so risky. Because, like, what if Eamon dies in the meantime? That's the whole reason why we're here. My, I don't really want her to... I don't really want her to kill him because then Eamon's still going to be pissed at us. He might be understanding, like Van Tegan was when we were talking about all of this, like with the blood uh, ritual and whatnot, which is an option here. But I don't, I don't know what Eamon would be more pissed about, his wife dying or his kid dying, you know? I would prefer if nobody had to die. But I don't know if that's going to be an option. Shit. We did save before this, so if this, like, turns out shit, we can always go back. Don't try anything foolish. You can't escape with him. I know that. I don't intend to take him anywhere. I am his mother. I brought Connor into this world. Let me do what must be done. I beg you. I don't want to kill him either, though. Don't try anything. I'll be right outside. Uh, mother, it... it hurts! <laughs> Everything's going to be alright, baby. <laughs> Just... Close your eyes for mother. It is done. I am very sorry. Andres, they have mercy on his soul. I wonder just how long Eamon will survive. Now that the demon cannot sustain him. Will I lose my whole family, do you think? Enough. I wish to mourn my son now. Give me that at least. That did not turn out how I thought it was going to. So it is over. Connor is dead, and the demon gone with him. With its creatures vanquished, the castle is back under our control. I thought I'd never see my brother again. My son, your nephew, is dead. Do not forget that in your great relief, Tegan. How could I, my lady? Eamon has much to mourn if he recuperates. There is still the matter of Jowan. His poisoning Eamon began this whole mess, yet he lives. I must decide what becomes of him. We will hold him for Eamon to decide his fate. If he doesn't recover, Jowan's fate is sealed. What do you think? Okay, so um, Jowan was indicative of the fact that he wanted to, you know, make right by what he did. I'm not sure why he wants my opinion, but I don't want to be insolent either. Um, he didn't really help. He was willing to help us. Uh, oh. <laughs> All of these are not what I want. Um. Ah, shit.
I, if in an ideal world, I'd like the option of you know explaining the fact that he understands what he did and would wish to be held responsible, but none of those really encompass that sentiment. I, I don't know what else to do. Why do you want my opinion? You spoke with him, have you not? You know what he has done better than I do, even. Would you find him useful? I would not trust him, but I would not presume to tell my brother what to do. Personally, I think that he should be able to pay off his debts, you know, try to turn a new leaf, etc, etc, but I don't want that to negatively affect shit. Personally, I would like him released. Released? Are you mad? Why would you do such a thing? I agree with Isolde. He's a Maleficar. We cannot simply unleash him on the land and ignore his crimes. Perhaps you're right. Very well. I shall have the mage imprisoned again, for now. But our task is not done yet. Whatever the demon did to my brother, it seems to have spared his life, but he remains comatose. We cannot wake him. The urn. The urn of sacred ashes will save Eamon. Isn't there some other way to heal him? What about magic? It has been tried, and we will continue trying. Perhaps the demon's absence will make a difference. However, the relic is another option. My husband funded the research of a scholar in Deneram, a brother Genetivi. He has been studying the inscriptions on Andraste's birth rock. When Eamon fell ill, I sent the knights to speak to Genetivi. I hoped that he had finally discovered the location of the urn of sacred ashes itself. They were unable to locate Genitivi. In desperation, I sent more knights in search of the brother, or some clue of the urn's location. Um, I'm not too concerned with this, because we're definitely going to go back and try to go to the Circle of Magi first. I think it might end up helping Eamon in the long run, too, because I don't want to kill Connor. I just wanted to see how this would unfold. Um, what will you be doing in the meantime? I must organize Eamon's knights as they return, draft new soldiers, and prepare the army to fight. I shall hand Redcliffe back to Eamon when he awakens, and in a state where it can be of some use in the coming war. Truly, what other choice do That's I have? Enough. I will see if I can find this relic. No one else can. Even if I wish to do it myself, I cannot abandon Redcliffe to its own devices. Perhaps you could seek out the brother's home in Denerim and see if any clues remain on his whereabouts. It is the only place to begin the search, I think. I must go to the hall and begin rebuilding. I wish you luck, and may the Maker go with you. Oh good, we got some Morgan approval. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is because we've done all this... Well, can we have a look around here first? Because we're not going to get to come back here. <laughs> um, here we go. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter because we're just going to go back to that prior save. Okay, yeah, that seems the most reasonable course of action. Okay, so let's do that. This time we won't confront him. And we're gonna have to get out of the castle. So let's see if I can remember how to get out. I wish we could just. Can we just. I don't know if we can fast travel of any sort. Is there a. That was the map. Can I go to World Map? World Map. Where's my party's camp? Is it just when I leave? I guess. Okay, let's get out. Cause, whoa, whoa, that's not where I wanna go. Hello, knight. Hey, Sir Perth. 
I do not like this talk of possessions and spirits and and magic. It is unnatural. I hate you. Okay, they're still in here. Okay, perfect. Will this lead to outside? So they're still in here for when we come back with the mages. Yeah, the gate's open. Okay, so let's head out. I want to go home. How do I go home? Cliff Dungeons, Woodcliff Village, Ostago. Ready camp. And this will let our injuries heal and... I don't understand. You look like a woman. I am a woman. You are a Grey Warden, so it follows that you can't be a woman. Why not? Women are priests, artisans, shopkeepers, or farmers. They don't fight. What if they don't want to be any of those things? What does that have to do with anything? No one gets to choose who they are. Of course they do. A person is born, Gunari or human or elven or dwarf. He doesn't choose that. The size of his hands, whether he is clever or foolish, the land he comes from, the color of his hair, these are beyond his control. We do not choose, we simply are. But a person can choose what to do. Can they? We'll see. You can disapprove all you want, you butt face. <laughs> Let's see. I know we had some gifts to give. Let's see what we've got. And we've got two injury kits, which is nice. What do we have? We have that. Don't we have Alistair's mother's amulet? Let's. So what do we have? We have a plus 19. Here we go, friend. This, this is my mother's amulet. It has to be. But why isn't it broken? Where did you find it? I found it in Redcliffe Castle, in the study. Oh, the Arl study? Then he must have found the amulet after I threw it at the wall. And he repaired it and kept it. I don't understand. Why would he do that? Perhaps you mean more to him than you think. I guess you could be right. We never really talked that much. And then the way I left... Thank you. I mean it. I thought I'd lost this to my own stupidity. I'll need to talk to him about this if he recovers from his... When he recovers, that is. I wish I'd had this a long time ago. Did you remember me mentioning it? Wow. Huh. I'm more used to people not really listening when I go on about things. So cute. Um, you're not special to me though, Alistair. Oh! Oh, this looks like we get to start something. Like, I guess, like, he's literally the only dude in our party besides Sten and Pratzel. <laughs> um... Why not? Rose, I love you. Please don't kill me. <laughs> of course I remembered. You're somewhat special to me. I don't know what to say. You're special to me too. Thank you again. Plus 12. And we can also be special to one another without being romantic. There is also that. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Um, silver chalice, which is not a gift. Steel bracers? I guess that's also for him. I feel like the stone dragonette, or dragon statuette, is for Morgan. So let's give her that. Interesting. I don't know. What's our reputation like with Liliana? So we have plus 16. And what was Morrigan? 
Plus four. <laughs> Let's give this to Morgan. I hope she likes it. Interesting. Okay, good. And steel braces are, are either for Sten or um <gasps> Pretzel loves me. <laughs> or Alistair. Oh, he's interested. Well, friend, I hope you like these. Oh, thank you. That's Good. very nice. Okay. I think that's all. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Got more approval. This motherfucker with his quest is gonna drive me crazy. We do, um, I won't bother with selling things. Um, all of our stuff is healed. Um, we had our conversation with Sten. I'm afraid to talk to people now because I don't want to lose reputation. Gifts are like my way of bribing them into liking me again. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and sell then, I guess. And we will- oh hey look, is this a little lake over here? That's so cute. Perfect spot. I'm so afraid to talk to people. I just am. I might just start like saving at a time. <laughs> okay, so. I'm gonna go ahead and sell so you guys don't have to worry about it. And then when we get back, we're going to head to the Circle of Magi because remember, we went back, we didn't actually kill Connor. I just wanted to see how that would turn out because the power of saving games. And so we're gonna go and see if we can deal this and not suffer any casualties. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you next time.